welcome my dear students i hope all of you are safe and sound continue praying for the safety of the world now in the last class we had started with practice set 2.2 and we had completed two sums in that now i have copied the third question third diagram is this way third figure and the given details are line p parallel to line q line p and q are parallel i have written line l parallel to line m that also i have written in given to find angle a b and c here one angle is given 80 degree we have to find measure of angle a b and c okay let's start with the knowledge of corresponding alternate and interior angles we will solve this. so let's start solution first itself i will write down the lines which are parallel line p parallel to line q line l parallel to line m we have written it in the given no need to write it again but still i just wrote it now as you can see when these two lines are parallel what about the angles what about these two angles they are they are interior angles so i'll write directly interior angles are supplementary no so angle 80 degree plus this angles measure we don't know so we'll write a equal to 180 degree now you have to justify why you wrote this step because they are interior angles if the lines are parallel then the interior angles are supplementary so now find out a therefore a is equal to 180 minus 80 therefore angle a is 100 degree highlight it okay so we got angle a in the figure mention that measure it is 100 degree now we want to find b and c is there a relation between angle b and c just check c and this is b they both are they both are corresponding angles so whatever answer you get for b same thing you will get for c now how to get that let's try this is how i am doing the sum you have another method you want to do, you want to do it by corresponding angles way linear pair or uh, you can do by that method see to it that our answers match okay ah, now here i got a is equal to 100 degree now i want to take this angle a and the next corresponding angle that is this angle so i'll name this angle as now abc is taken i will name it as angle um, suppose uh, angle s ha huh. so this angle i am naming it as angle s what is the relation between angle a and angle s angle a and angle s they both are corresponding angles these two lines are parallel so i can take these two corresponding angles okay so i'll write angle a congruent to angle s reason corresponding angles we have to write proper reasons corresponding angles and how much was angle a angle a was 100 so therefore angle s will also be 100 degree 100 degree now, now s i got s i got 100 degree what is the relation between angle s and angle b what is the relation between angle s and angle b this way no this is s and this is b they both are linear pair so now i'll use linear pair that is i'll write angle s plus angle b equal to 180 degree reason linear pair i know angle s is 100 plus angle b equal to 180 so what will be angle b angle b will be 180 minus 100 that is 80 degree angle b i got 80 degree angle b i got 80 degree now what is the relation between angle b and angle c they both are corresponding angles so here i have space i'll write the last step here i'll write angle b congruent to angle c why they are corresponding angles so whenever i am saying something i am writing proper reason they are corresponding angles so if b is 80 angle c will also be 80 degree i like your answer so each angle carries one mark for 
for reason also you will have half marks. Easy. So we got angle A, B and C. Angle A 100, angle B 80, angle C also 80. So simple to do. Ah, now you can also do by another method. Suppose you are taking vertically opposite angle property. If A is 100, it vertically opposite angle will be 100. Okay, this way you are doing it. You can do by that method. Then you want to take alternate angle. So here if this is 100, the angle S will also be 100. Alternate angles, no. So if S is 100, angle B will be 100 minus, uh, 180 minus 100, 80 degree. Again by using linear pair. So whichever method you are using, we will check whether answers are correct or not. Understood? Now the question, it says, in the adjoining figure, line A parallel to line B, these both are parallel. Line L is the transversal. Find the measures of angle X, Y, Z using the given information. Now we have become masters, no? We can solve any sum of this type. One angle is given 105, X, Y, Z they are asking. Get it before I get, start. I will write first line A parallel to line B. Line L is the transversal. If you want, you can write. I am not writing. To find angle X, angle Y, angle Z. Given and to find should be written. Now, I will write down the solution. Solution. What I see, I will write that way. What you see, that you write in your way. At the end, we will check. Now, what clicked me first is, okay, there is a relation between this 105 and Z. My, my favorite property, linear pair angles. They both are linear pair angles. So, I will write directly 105 plus Z equal to 180 degree. Reason, linear pair. They both are linear pair angles. Okay. So, what will be Z? Therefore, Z equal to 180 minus 105. Subtract 10 minus 5, 5. 7. So, I got Z 75 degree. Angle Z 75 degree. After I get angle Z, I will mention that angle here. Measurement and here 75 degree. Now, I know that these two lines are parallel. So, if I see properly this angle and this angle, they are corresponding angles. So, I will write Angle X X equal to 105 degree directly. No need to give this a name and then write angle X congruent to angle T. Okay, if you want you can write that way also. But half marks is to find the answer and half marks for reason. So don't uh, make this uh, sum long. Directly, right? Angle X equal to 105 degree. Why am I saying so? Because... They both are corresponding angles. They both are corresponding angles. Correct, no? They both are corresponding angles. So, whatever is 105, same applies for angle X. Now, if angle X is also 105 degree, and this highlight please. If angle X is 105, what is the relation between angle X and angle Y? Our favorite? Vertically opposite angles. The measure for angle X will be same as its vertically opposite angle Y. So we will write. Now here names are given. So we will write with the letter. Angle X congruent to angle Y. Reason vertically opposite angles. So half marks you got here for writing the reason. Vertically opposite angles. So how much will be angle Y? Therefore... Angle Y will be 105 degree. Highlight it. So in this way we got angle X 105, angle Y 105 and angle Z 75 degree. Proper reasons given for all the steps. So simple no? Let's strike the next sum. Now we come to the last sum of the practice set. The sum goes in the adjoining figure line P line parallel Line P parallel to line L parallel to line Q. Okay. Find X with the help of the measures given in the figure. So let us write given. Given. 
I done what all are parallel? Line P parallel to line Q, uh, L parallel to line Q. To find, to find angle X, to find angle X. As you can see, this angle X is this way and then we have a partition here. So, this whole angle is X. So, this angle X is made up of two smaller angles. That is this part and the remaining part. Okay? That is one angle is this angle and the other is this angle. Suppose one angle, suppose I get it as 20 degree, the smaller part. The other part I get it as 40 degree. Then how much will be X? We will add both the smaller angles, no? So, we will use an angle addition property. Two small angles we are adding. Angle addition property. So, 40 plus 20, we will get the answer as 60. Similarly, let us solve the sum. Now, as you can see, these three lines are parallel. For these three lines, you can take for this line and this line, this part you can take as the transversal. This part looks like transversal, no? Two parallel lines. And then we have a transversal. Only thing is that it is not a line, it is a segment. Transversal, we have seen it as a line. Here we have the transversal. Transversal means which is cutting two parallel lines. This is a segment. So this part is transversal for line P and L. And this part is the transversal for lines L and Q. Huh? Now in this figure, if I consider only line P and line L, this P and line L. Then I have a transversal this way. At one side itself you can make out one angle which is formed here. Which is the type of angle? Z shape means it is alternate angle. So if this is 40 degree, then this part, the alternate angle pair will also be 40 degree. So this part will also be 40 degree. This much part will be 40 degree. We will give that part, that first part by a name. This part, that part we will not call. We will call that as part A. Okay. So let us write first solution. Now let us write. We are considering these two, no? These two lines. Line P parallel to line L. Therefore, these two are Alternate angles, right? 40 degree equal to A. We have given that part as A. That is this part. This part we have give, given the name as A. So, alternate angles are congruent. So, 40 degree, same will go for A. Write down the reason. Alternate angles. Alternate angles. Highlight it. So, A is 40 degree. Now, we will consider the other two lines. Ah, write it. Line L parallel to line Q. Similarly, as you can see, again here there is a Z. There is a Z. I will show you. This is line L. And then we have line Q. And the transversal is this way. So, again here you have a Z. This is a Z. So, this part is 30 degree. What will be this part? That part will also be 30 degree. We will give that name as B. So, this part, this part, we will name it as B. Okay. Write directly. 30 degree is equal to B. Or we can write angle B or just B. Reason again. Alternate angles. Alternate angles. So, B will also be, B will be 30 degree. Correct till here understood. So, now we got, we draw it once again. We have the figure this way. So, now we have this part. We had named this part as A. We had named the remaining part as B. And the whole angle is named as X. So, angle X will be angle A plus angle B. Clear? So, I will write Angle X is equal to angle A plus angle B. 
what is this called as angle addition property we are adding two small angles to get the bigger angle x so please write down the reason angle addition property this small a and this small angle b if you add you get that angle x so how much is angle x angle x is equal to angle a we got as 40 and angle b we got as 30 40 plus 30 70 degree so angle x will be 70 degree. okay my dear ones so this way the sum was not at all tough huh Alternate angles clearly visible. Only thing that you should know to write the steps. And don't make it too lengthy. Just to go point wise to what we want. Write proper reasons. Okay. So we have completed practice set 2.2. Okay. Now for the next class we will have a construction. We will have construction. So when we meet for the next class. That is tomorrow or whenever we are meeting. You should be ready with your geometry box. Come on search. Where is your geometry box and geometrical instruments? I want you to be ready with two set square, protractor, scale, nice sharpened pencil, compass. Okay. So whatever we need in a geometry box, you be ready with the geometry box and we will learn the construction. Very easy. Okay. So after that we will be completing our chapter. I hope you understood each and every sum. Practice well and Wish you all the best. Stay safe and healthy. Till we meet for the next time. Bye students.